spring jacket and it's uh, hand woven, no dyes whatsoever. Made in Manhattan in the rectory of St. Mary's on Grand Street, the high fashion clothing line of Goods of Conscience is based on the four pillars of Catholic social teaching. The concept is that all the clothing is based on the one fabric and the fabric is called social fabric. So it's a very versatile fabric and it lets people touch and feel and wear cotton as it was first discovered. Grown and hand woven in Guatemala, the clothes are cut and sewn into Father O'Connor's own designs under the experienced hand of sample maker Maria de la Cruz de Rivas. Our clothing is, uh, is meant to be functional, both for informal circumstances and formal. You can go between the two worlds. The nonprofit began as a tribute to Father Stanley Rother, who was martyred in Guatemala in 1981. One of his ministries was finding ways for local widows to survive. That was the simple idea was that, you know, maybe they can, if they weave and, and if there was a proper market for what they, we what they wove, then uh, they should be sustained. Unlike manufactured goods, goods of conscience are meant to embody a form of globalization that leads to communion and community rather than anonymity. So the, the cloth can be read like a book for the weavers. It looks like it's made by somebody in some place, and it seems like a good place, and I think heals and brings a bit of the gospel message down into the, the, the DNA of the consumer. The clothing line and more of the story behind it can be found at goodsofconscience.bigcartel.com. Reporting for Currents from Manhattan's Lower East Side, I'm Conrad Aderer.